May I now invite the chief speaker of the day, a down-to-earth personality who is the first pride of DXN. He won the dream status of Crown Ambassador and can be considered as an expert in MLM business with an experience of 19 years. It is my honor to welcome Mr. Budiman Salim to the stage to give us his valuable speech. Good morning. Good morning. Can I step here? Yes. Oh, okay. So, thank you for inviting me again. Only after three years and six months. Yes. Okay? I know, I know you don't love me. I know the UAE people, you don't love me anymore. I was thinking that way because it takes you to invite me again after three years and six months. That is too, too long or too short? Too long. No. Again, thank you for inviting me. Actually, Mr. Surya called me a few times, but I cannot make it because I have a, a, a very full schedule. And actually, today I am not supposed to be here. I have a schedule training with another group in Indonesia. I have to cancel that training and request another leader to help me to do the training and uh, instead of that, I am here with you today. Okay. Actually, I prepared a very nice song for you. I was, think, I'm, I was thinking that I'm going to dance, but too bad, I think we don't have the uh, music. It's okay, no, I'm not going to dance now. <laughs> okay, actually I'm preparing a song called Stronger. Um, sing by Angun. I don't know whether you know Angun or not. Angun says Sasmi. I'll tell you more about her. Fit Big Ali. It's a triple platinum album from her Elevation albums. The wording in the song inspired me a lot in the business. Every time when I feel bad, I, I listen to the song. Okay? It said that, you see, a lot of these people can understand when you try to do better for yourself. A lot of time they want to bring you down. Is it true? Yes. A lot of time they want to hate on you. But they can't understand that make us stronger. <laughs> when they want to break me down, want to tear me up, want to scream and shout, well, you can try. Let them do whatever bad thing to you. Okay? You have to show, if, if, want to show your pride, want to push me up, want to break it up. No matter how hard, no, I want it. No matter how hard, I will not feel the pain. No matter how far for this, I will take. No matter how long, no, I won't break. Because you only make me stronger. Stronger you make me, stronger you make me. Want to shut me up? Want to pull me down? Want to scratch me off? Go ahead and try. Want to knock me out? Want to put me down? Want to kick me up? Yes, you can try. Want to scream out loud, want to give me up, want to burn this down. No matter how hard, no, I want it. No matter how far this I will take, no matter how long, no, I won't break. Because you and only make me stronger. Stronger you make me, stronger you make me, stronger you make me, stronger you make me. This is actually the song sang by Angun. Do you like the lyrics? Do you like the song? Yes. Yeah. It is very motivated, am I right? Yes. This is the, tri the triple platinum sang by Angun. This is Angun Say Sasmi. Okay? She is actually an Indonesian singer. At the age of 19 or 20, she moved to UK. 
to pursue her career in as a singer, she failed in London. She then moved to Paris. She sang from one small cafe, one bar to the other, until she was found by a producer. Now, she lives in Europe. She is the only one singer from Indonesia that break the world in French now. She lives in French. She is an Indonesian live in France. We pay attention to that. She is an Indonesian who is singing and living in French, but she is the only most exported French song worldwide. Okay? I got crazy with her. I fall in love with her. Too bad she was married. <laughs> I follow wherever she goes in Indonesia. I go and go to her concert in Jakarta, in Bandung. I even fly to Bali for her. Okay? When I was in French in the year of 2005, she was traveling the whole French for her concert. And now she is the most popular one in actually in Europe. Okay? This is Angun Sesafmi. Why I share? Because I'm very proud of her, an Indonesian singer that brings Indonesia to Europe. I am very proud of her. Today, I am very proud with my company, DXM. Her story is showing the same thing to DXM, an Asian company from Kuala Lumpur, from Malaysia, that bring me to the world of DXM in 150 countries. I am proud of her as I am proud of my DXM because now we are the number 40 in the world direct selling company. Are you proud of DXN? Yes! I am very proud of DXN. Okay? So now I'm an Angun Mania, okay? No. Angun uh, always remember her father's advice. Okay? When, when she was young in Indonesia, the father told her, if you have a dream, wake up, have your shower, and work for your dreams. Don't wake up and back to sleep. This is what her father told her, and this is what bring her to the world in, uh, in Europe now. Okay? Same thing to our business. A lot of people ask me, what is the secret of my success? A lot of my FB friends, uh, you all, a lot of you are in my FB uh, friend list, okay? Sometimes they inbox me, asking me to share the spells or magic words that I use for making me success in the XM business. Few people, a lot of people ask me whether I use magic words or not. Okay? My friend, I'm not a magician. If only I'm a magician, okay, I don't want to become a distributor as a crown ambassador, but I want to become Dato Dr. Lim Seljin. All distributors have the same opportunities, but why some have very some are very successful, but a, a lot are failed. Am I right? Yes. Okay. Let's see. When they fail, they have a lot of problems. Also, like me before, in the year of 1988, 1987, I have to return to Indonesia. I was in Singapore. I was studying in Singapore. My father was rich, a businessman. Then he went bankrupt in the year of 19. 
87. I have to stop my education. I am far from uh, uni. I have no degree. You are very lucky that you have a degree. I have no degree, okay? I just finished my high school and a diploma in Singapore. Then uh, I come to the world of uh, uh, multi-level marketing. Then I start to join multi-level marketing in the year of 1988, so it's 22 years ago. I faced a lot of difficulties, okay? The problem that made people fail, okay? They always think that the upline. Yes, when you fail, you say that your upline is not doing good for you. Some people even say, my upline never sponsored one for me. <laughs> Am I right? The one who clapped hand is actually thinking about that. I'm joking, okay? <laughs> Sometimes they think that the company is not, not doing right. They are blaming the company. Okay? Can you blame a company that listed number 40 in the world? You, you can blame? You say, no, okay, good. So, but a lot of people, they blame on the company. Ah, the company never do this one. You know, the company never help me or for that one. The company always ask me to pay to join the meetings. Are you paying to come here? Yes. Small, uh, small, but you still have to come up with uh, money. Uh, the company never give me free brochure. The company never do this and that. Okay? So, they blame the company. They blame the product. 